even myself. But looking back on it, it is a change that would affect us for years to come. Online classes that I'm pretty sure we all slept through, Zoom meetings with all those things that we haven't done shit, or even the sheer boredom of being stuck inside one house is all new to us. But the class of 2023? No. The Sealy High School class of 2023 did not let us slow us down. Our lives may have been covered in masks 24 7. We may have been inconvenienced by the countless new rules and regulations showing us what we can and cannot do. But that did not stop us. That did not stop the class of 2023 from excelling at whatever they do football, track, soccer, academics, one act of theater, choir, art, FFA, whatever it may be. The CLA class of 2023 was not stopped by all these major changes. And that is why I know that after each and every one of you walks across this stage to receive your diploma, you won't let it change stop you from achieving your dreams. I want to personally thank all my teachers. You've all taught me many things to prepare me for my future. Not just how to do math or read, but true life lessons. The impact you have had on me, not just me, but every student here tonight is more than I can put in for Thank you. I would also like to thank someone here tonight, Mr. Carlos Ricardo. He has been an absolutely amazing mentor in my life and has really highlighted what it means to be a good man. I would also like to thank a special someone, my mother. My mother has always been there for me and a person who has kept me out of trouble and raised me well. Thank you, Mom. You're the best. Thank you again, everyone. Even here tonight, I can hear the girl in the show's center. First Lady and wife of Franklin E. Roosevelt, Eleanor Roosevelt, once said that the future belongs to the too small, too big, too crazy, or too bland to stop you from chasing. Class of 2023, I want you to ask yourself this question. What is my dream? Do I want to achieve something? Do I want to go somewhere? Take that dream of yours and turn into a burning passion that drives you to constantly pursue your new goals. I know you can do it. Just look at yourselves. Each and every one of you all here tonight has achieved something spectacular. Graduating here and here, earning your diploma is an amazing accomplishment. All those in the stand, your parents, your family, and your friends, they're all proud of you for what you've done. And you should be proud of yourselves too. There's a lot of hard work to get where you are right now, and it will be a lot of hard to get where you want to be in the future. I know you all will do great things. Don't get them tired. Thank you. I would now like to introduce the class of 2023 valedictorian, Vaughn Kimaleski. I'm glad you and I are able to do this together. This is an incredible honor, and I'm humbled to be speaking in front of every single one of you today. Yes, I put in front of cities that look like this, and I've walked into competitive spots that you feel like the most confident man in the world. I will remember in my life how I've spoken for a thousand people with the soul to focus being the worst of out of my mouth right now. For being real, I've never been this nervous in my life. It's all the time we haven't got to last week today. But I know I have to, even if I do seem to make a fool of myself. To be honest with you, I wanted to talk to that exact reason. I know if you're thinking, the bad guy is talking crazy right now. What does he even mean if he wants to make a fool of himself? Hear me out. Through my short 18 years, I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. I don't want to talk about things like holding the thick of my actual experience or how these last four years move out so fast. I want to dedicate this speech to something more meaningful to me. I want to dedicate this to my peers, the ones who want to be here and the ones who didn't. Physically, I sound the stage alone. However, in reality, there should be hundreds of people up here with me. I wish I could say that I was talented, smart, disciplined enough to be able to accomplish this on my own, but that's just not the case. Therefore, I'm trying to do special thank yous for the people that got here. To start with, I would like to thank my three closest friends, 
Max Wiggins, Albert Rosas, and Andrew Alvarez. When I spent time with these three great and intelligent individuals, I became a fourth group and intelligent individual. I know that while I'm on my paths, I may only have one blood brother in the sitting in the sands right now, but over the last four years, I gained three more. Thank you for putting up with me. Celia has been lucky enough to have both of you in the system at the same time for the last couple of years. Both of you have been pivotal pieces of my time here in America. You care and I owe most of my athletic likenesses to you, to you, to you too. You turned a shot and showed me dream and gave it to the young man standing here in front of you today. If I had to credit my successes to one singularity, I would credit to the fact that I had three fine for your scratch for my life. Thank you for everything I've done and continue to do for me. I respect, you more, I respect you both more than you know. Finally, I would like to thank the two most important people in my life. My parents, black on the easy eyes, but you never gave up. You both have sacrificed greatly in order for me to be as successful as I can be. Through tough times, your will never waver, and your love never ended. I hope that one day I can raise a child as well as you raise me. Y'all tell me that. I owe the world to both of you, and I pray that one day I can repay you. I love you so much. Now, can I please give a round of applause for every member of the CLSC staff? From the custodian of the year that they hired, effort, and love into the past 12 years to make sure this day had it. And for Abra Silver, my girlfriend, who has been my rock since freshman year and drove three hours here after a home graduation yesterday. This was. I'm blessed to be where I am today. Healthy, breathing, here with all of you, and you should feel the same way too. Kanye is a great man, and he said the best. Nothing in life is promised except death. I challenge you to say hi to your neighbor mate. Say hi to your own child. Say hi to your own normal. Your new life. Your new independence. Because you made it. I'm extremely proud of each and every one of you today. Now, please join me in welcoming our senior class president, Lily Wallace, for our class highlight speech. Thank you, Vaughn. Good evening. I'm Lily Waltz, president of the class of 2023. For the last six years of my life, I've had the joy of growing and learning with the class of 2023. I thank God for the wonderful teachers and parents that constantly encourage many of us sitting on this wheel tonight to exceed expectations. I would especially like to thank Ms. Carolyn Owen, Mrs. Stephanie Nowitzki, Mrs. Valerie Goad, Mr. Richard Jackson, and my mama, Mrs. Julie Carruthers. And most of all, my daddy and mama. Even though they're no longer with me, they're the inspiration for everything I do. Even though I was not here for it, some of you have great memories of elementary school. Elementary school was a lot of years and a lot of time. However, the most vivid band memories were the Polar Express watch party where they wore pajamas and enjoyed hot chocolate and couldn't even forget the parachute day during gym class. What I was here for was junior high. And I can remember being completely mortified that I had to move to a new school with new people. Middle school is already awkward, but being a new kid was definitely a double way. Shout out to Daddy Raina, who made sure I always had a friend. Raina read all the article readings and push up to Coach Rogers class or deal with the Jack and Hyde Seven Science class. You definitely missed out. The field when we meet them that Friday night, 31 to 28. The combination of mandatory face masks and many of our class notes. This included the Holocaust Research Project and slide presentation that led Mrs. Go to revamp her pre-AB curriculum and question her faith in humanity, or at least the maturity of sophomore boys. Bradley, Ian, Adam, Kevin, she's looking at you. 
Junior year was definitely not an eventful one. Senior year, however, had many proud moments. Marching season had its own set of memories for all of the band members, especially at the second round of football playoffs when Jada Burton and Andrees Coleman snuck onto the bus to avoid a case of hypothermia. Or who could forget the Jerry Rigg speaker system that hung, that hung precariously from the roof of the bus on their way to SeaWorld? Our Sealy Oxford Powerlifting team had many amazing moments as well. Five state qualifiers this year, and Jeremiah Musker hit a 1,400 total at state, definitely demonstrated our dedication and strength. It also demonstrates the work of our amazing coaches, Jimmy Osborne and Julie Carruthers. Thank you both for always pushing us, and mostly making sure no one goes down the squat bar. High school extracurriculars and academics brought many menus, but it also brought together people in a beautiful way. We all got to grow together and develop all of these amazing friendships that may stay with us long after school. Thank you, Valeria Rodriguez, Briario Costa, Rosio Tovar, Jennifer Maladon, Valerie Hahn, and Jazzy Reina for making my school enjoyable for me. I love all of you and I appreciate everything you've done for me. All these amazing people are going on to do all of these amazing things. And we've got to watch them grow and become the successful people that they're all going to be coming. Thank you. Please join me in welcoming the Sealy ISD Superintendent, Dr. Ryan Hallmark, to the podium. Moments from now, you are going to walk across the stage as graduates of Sealy High School. Ready? Here is some simple advice before we launch you into your future. First off, dream big. Tonight is a new beginning, and from here, anything is possible. If you can, whatever your dreams might be, I encourage you to chase them with everything you got. Second, stay curious. Now more than ever, the world needs people who are willing to think, reason, and wonder. There are so many challenges out there that are just waiting for someone to ask the right questions. Anyone can follow the crowd through life, but you are built different. Blaze your own path. Third, be willing to do what others Work at it, take zero talent. Finally, be good people. At the end of the day, how you make people feel will always be if you're going to go and do amazing things in life. We're proud of your accomplishments and we wish you nothing but the best. Congratulations, 2023. Thank you. I would now like to welcome back our Sealy High School principal, Megan Oliver, to the podium. Students, just a reminder before we get started, when you, after you take your picture, you're going to enter the phone call packet. Please take that with you and do not lose it. I would also like to pass on a little advice. There are 86,400 seconds in every day. Don't waste them. You choose how to spend them. Who to spend them with. How those seconds will make a difference. Use them wisely. You all have amazed me through the many challenges you've faced over the last four years. You have persevered. I'm so proud of all of you and will miss you dearly. Dearly, remember who you are and what you are first. Members of the Sealy ISD Board of Trustees, I hereby certify the seniors of the class of 2023 of Sealy High School that met all requirements set forth by the state of Texas and the Sealy Independent School District and are eligible to receive their diplomas at this time. Absolutely. We will begin with our honor graduates. Will the first row of graduates please last? Great, great, great. 
Danny Marie Cash. Thomas Pratt. Chris Crosby. 
Chloe 
Sealy High School graduation 2023, second lap at end. Hold on. All right. There you go, then. 